Looking at our data from our CDAO surveys, only just over 50% of CDAOs actually are responsible for driving value. If you're not gonna do it, your competition will. So to drive innovation, you need to use analytics to really bring forth that value for the business. So the team, the data analytics team, their mandate is not just to create data pods, but to drive insights to really correlate to the business outcomes. And that to us was really critical because we sat with the business and we took their problem and used data to solve for those very real life business problems. In a modern era, there's just so much data we're really looking for the insight. So how can I get the business folks to step up and own the discussion of the insight they need? So my Eureka moment was really creating a community of influencers within the business pods to drive the value of data and analytics. That was about the time when Gartner had done an article about Instagrammers of data. And I know it sounds very Gen Z and, and millennial, but it was just spot on because, you know, if you think about an influencer community, we all operate in that environment. We are influenced by our environment, by our leaders, by our co-workers. The data and analytics world is no different. So we needed to get our stakeholders in with us to influence the analytics that we were creating and be our evangelists for those analytics. That's how we created value and that's how we communicated value to the bigger audience. By 2024, only about 50% of data analytics strategies we think will actually deliver the value expected of them, not because of lack of skills, but because organizations will fail to implement the necessary changes to create these influencer circles, these centers of excellence. So by having more and more people look at the value that the data is uh, bringing in through its stories that it's telling, we want to ensure a cultural change so that all the participants, all the stakeholders are not just data hungry, they also become data savvy. I often say to my teams that if you don't have a problem to solve, but you know, you're creating analytics to solve for X, it's like going around the, you know, the table with a hammer waiting for a nail and then hammering it in. It doesn't work like that. You need to bring the business to the forefront, define a problem, work with the teams that you've established within the business sets to then make data and analytics solve for that problem. If you focus on business outcomes, you will have the attention of the business leader. You can understand the decision that they're trying to make or wrestling with, and then you can discover the analytic you need and the data that drives it. I go back to when we started on this journey right during COVID and we were a very much a project based team that, hey, we need to you know, do analysis in this area. Let's put it together. Now we have a seat at the strategy table. The ideal scenario, I always think, is DNA, a critical function today, becomes embedded in the business in such a real way that it's no longer a different function. We are everywhere. We are omnipresent. That, to me, is true success for a DNA organization.